What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another exciting video on the Kansas Angling Experience channel. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon. It's Valentine's Day. We've got the uh, dogs out here to enjoy the nice weather that we've got. It's like 55, 57 degrees and uh, not a lot of wind. So needless to say, everyone, their brother, their mother, their cousin, their whole family is out here trying to catch crappies today. But before we get this video started, I just want to give everyone that subscribes to this channel, everyone that watches these videos, everyone that talks shit on these videos on the internet. Hopefully by the time you guys see this video or shortly after the channel will have hit 20,000 subscribers which for a full-time fishing guide that just does these videos for fun on the side when I have time is pretty freaking awesome so thank you guys so much for your support over the years 20,000 is a huge milestone and I'm extremely proud and extremely thankful to have all you guys supporting these videos but yeah anyway uh, like I said beautiful Monday afternoon super warm a lot of boats out here did not honestly really have a plan for this video but the afternoon was gonna be nice and I had some time before our Valentine's day dinner tonight to uh, get a video out we're halfway through february here and these crappies are already kind of starting to think about transitioning off of their river channel haunts their brush pile haunts for their winter pattern right into the early spring pattern where they get off that stuff they roam around in open water and just try and feed up before the spawn. Definitely not my favorite time to target crappies. And that's why usually right around the second week of March, I do not target them. I prefer to fish for fish that pull a lot harder than a crappie, but it does keep my guide service busy in the winter time for three months uh, when crappies about the only bite that we have down here. So yeah, just like always, I'm gonna get out here, uh, scan some shoreline here. I've got a stretch of waypoints with some brush piles on it that I know are gonna have some fish on it. Show you what they look like on my Garmin's, on down imaging, side imaging and on live scope just like I always do so yeah Tucker's happy Phoebe's happy I'm happy we've got some uh, juicy brush piles over here in shallow water to scan so I'm going to show you guys what those look like right now all right there's brush pile number one right there you guys can see it clear as day on down imaging we're coming up on the second one there's your side scan picture right there we just almost split the middle of it coming up on that second one right there we've got two more over here you guys can see clear as day I'm gonna pause the screen here and just kind of show you guys what these look like so like I've said probably a thousand times on my other Garmin uh, tutorial videos what you guys can do to zoom in on those fish is go to your menu and then hit zoom and magnify and it's gonna bring up a little magnifying square on the screen that you can just toggle with your fingertip there so we've got that zoomed in perfect on that brush pile right there obviously you guys can tell that's got a lot of fish on it we're sitting right in about like 14 or 15 feet of water i think that's probably going to be the one that we're going to start with right there and then if we slowly try and pan up here two more brush piles right there i'll bring that zoom screen right over there you guys can see fish on that one too so things are looking pretty good um those are the ones that i had planned to fish as soon as i got out here so it's good to see that on this side of the lake right now there are exactly zero boats so i'm hoping i'm hoping that even though these fish are pretty shallow uh with calm waters over here that they'll want to cooperate but yeah we've already got the gopro rigged up on the live scope screen so i'm going to get back over the top of those fish and uh, see if we can get them to bite all right well let's just uh Get the sea light pole down here. A lot of people ask me what I'm running for my live scope transducer pole. I've got the sea light transducer 2.0 pole. Um, got hooked up with these guys a couple months ago. If you guys want a 10% discount on the best pole on the market, go to the link down in the description below. I have several other videos on my channel on uh, that pole, so I'm not going to go into detail, but we're going to get this rod rigged up with some fresh plastics here so i think judging by the conditions today we're gonna size down we're gonna go with that uh, two and a half inch stinger tail just a little bit sneakier profile instead of my regular flapper but again as far as the uh, gear and stuff is concerned all the links are down in the description with my discount code for both these jigs and these plastics. We've just got a uh, dual rig here, rigged up with eighth ounce jigs from BAMS jigs on a 6.6 medium light Fox River spinning rod with a PC Fun Viper X 1000 spinning reel. Pretty deadly, deadly little combo. But yeah, we've still got just a little ways up to uh, where our spot is right here. So we're just gonna use the Tarova and slide up, just adjust my live scope kind of settings here. Coming up on the tree right there. You guys can see it about 20 feet out on the right side of the screen. 
I'm gonna try and just sneak up there as best I can. It's uh, quite the tree. There's a lot going on down there, so I'm hoping that we can stay snag free. Sorry about the glare on the live scope screen. I'm just gonna drop those jigs down. Already spooking fish right there, unfortunately. Wow, what is that? Ooh, that's a kitty cat. Tell you one thing, those fish are packed in there tight. Got one. First drop. Does not take long, but man, in 14 feet of water, I just cannot imagine that these fish are going to be not too spooky. Be a nice 10 inch keeper right there. We're just letting fish go. Danny and I are having steak and lobster tails tonight for dinner, so do not need any crappies. But yeah, I don't know. Like you saw on side scan and down imaging, we've got several brush piles over here to fish. So we'll see if we can pop a couple more on this one and then just move as needed. Oh, right when I was about to stop recording. I don't know if you guys could see that on live scope, but had one race through the tree super small one and crush it but yeah stingers are the deal whenever the conditions are kind of weird and there's a high pressure system just be a little bit more sneaky about your presentation go with those stinger tails versus a flapper or a big bait i don't know these fish don't look that big and we're pretty shallow so i'm gonna slide out just a little deeper here to the next one there's our next candidate right there. We just slid out to 16 and a half feet to the next pile. These fish look a little bit bigger, but man, like I said before there, all these fish on these trees are packed in there. There's a big one right there. Let's just get these baits down there and see if we can find a bit better quality maybe. Came in just a little bit hot on that tree. There we go. Ooh. Oh, he's on it. Look at that. Bite it. Oh my, I missed him. That was a big one. Got him to go right away. And I dumped him. Another big one. Here we go. Eat it, buddy. Big fish. He's not gonna bite. Nope. Good sign though, good sign that we got it. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that one? That's a gooder, yep. Did you hear me say that? That's a gooder fish. It is a gooder fish. It's a much more gooder fish. Thing just charged right up. I think these shallower fish in the bit warmer water are a little bit more fired up than the shallow ones. So just what I wanted to see. Let's get back down there and get another one. Mm-hmm. Fucked him right off the top. Dude, it would be eater extravaganza today if we were having uh, crappie tacos tonight. But like I said, already got the Valentine's Day dinner planned, so we're just out here for fun. A pretty bitey when you can get it within their view. I mean, they're like I said, they're packed in there super tight, but they want to move. Water's warm, 35, almost 35 and a half. It was like 32 when we put the boat in yesterday. Ooh, there's another big one right there. Did not eat, but yeah, you can see some big ones down at the bottom. Playing with fire here and I got one, got them out of the tree too. Got the small one, of course. But yeah, they're doing it. Really doing it. And I'm just still kind of bouncing around from brush pile to brush pile. This one looks absolutely fantastic. Granted, we are only scanning 15 feet out and we're in 14 foot of water. So those fish will look a little bit bigger than normal, but wow, there's there's just a lot going on on the screen down there. Anybody? First drop. 
interest here he comes top jig bottom jig oh i missed them both i could have had a double and i totally whiffed both of them we got fish uh, close to bottom near the tree we got tons of fish on the tree look at how fast oh oh my god yeah they're charged up i, I got a little too excited on that one let's just let it kind of chill Wow. Oh my, that fish completely missed the bait. He was so excited that he just missed it. Here he comes again. Got him. Got him the second time, yep. That's kind of what I was thinking. Those fish look a lot bigger than they appear, but they're really fired up down there. I feel like this afternoon bite's kind of where it's at right now. Got that one too. <laughs> not big ones at all but it's uh pretty fun pretty active it's about all you can ask for it's mm. better one oh yeah buddy look at that a black one it's not a magnolia but that is a black crappie. That is something that is not too common around these parts on the big lakes. And that would be a keeper black crappie. So that is freaking awesome. Nice one. Truth be told, before I moved to uh, Kansas from Wisconsin, I had never seen a white crappie before. So every time I get to catch black ones is always a bonus. God, you guys, look at... Look at how many fish are swimming around down there. I'm not certain that all of them, especially the ones coming in from the outside are all crappies, but the tree is loaded and there's a lot of life out here. So this is great, great little afternoon. This is just nutty. It's the land of 10 inchers and I'm totally okay with it. I actually have tomorrow off. I took tomorrow off just in case Danny and I have too much to drink tonight for Valentine's Day. So the wind's supposed to blow like 30 to 40 miles an hour tomorrow anyway, but I've definitely got my first brush pile area for Wednesday's guide trip dialed in because <laughs> this is... That is just crazy, dude. Look at that. Fast action on the 10 to 12 inchers. As fast as you can get your baits down there, that's as fast as you can catch them. So just for fun, try and do a little pitch out there. I've got, don't know if you guys can see them, jigs swinging towards the right side of the screen. Got bit instantly and totally whiffed it. Not that one though. You bet. Just a fine February day. Tucker's excited. Phoebe, you want some? You gonna get some of that? All right. <laughs> These fish are so mad. They do not want any sort of anything near their tree. Instant. Oh my God. Just, I don't even think it would matter what size bait, what color, what profile bait you'd have on right now. They seem pretty dumb. I like dumb fish. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I sound like every other Midwesterner, but I kind of wish that I was keeping fish today, but I just have too many, too many for my taste. This is just so much fun, though. I mean, they're not just like, oh, <laughs> they're not just like breathing on it. They are absolutely smashing these baits right now. He's got it. Should we just, look, 
not set the hook. Just reel him in. Is he going to stay on? Is he going to stay on? Look at that. Wow. Couldn't even shake him off. Here he comes for the top jig. Oh, I almost had a freaking double. Did you guys see that? I don't know how they didn't bite at the exact same time, but that was extremely close to a double. <laughs> Oh man, I feel like if I'd been counting, I would be at my limit right now. I feel like if I was actually showing every fish on camera, I would be close to like 30 fish, 100%. I don't even know what more to say. Stevie Wonder could catch his limit of crappies right now. 100%. Another nice one. Yeah, this is definitely where we're starting on Wednesday morning. All these 10 and a half to 12 inchers just Going right back. Love to see it. How about another one? How fast can we get bit? Oh, instantly. Those fish are literally, what, eight feet down? Crazy. Super shallow. Look at that. Freaking racing and missed it. Quit. His smaller buddy wants it though, and he's gonna have it. Always gotta be the small one. But that was a perfect example of uh, how aggressive those fish are right now. The fish swam from like six or seven feet away full speed to try and hit that bait, and he did not commit. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a freaking white bass. Dickhead Fred himself is mixed in. Ow. Can you just stop convulsing for no reason? Give me that tail back. Tucker loves white bass. Favors? Well, no wonder he felt big. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is gonna be like one of those 25 or 30 minute limit videos. I'm glad I came out because I almost didn't today. But like I said, the wind's supposed to blow like crazy tomorrow. So I'm enjoying this beautiful glass calm day along with everybody else before the wind comes up tomorrow. <laughs> it's just kind of funny at this point. Oh, it's another black crappie. Two black crappies on the same tree. For this part of the state on this lake, that's pretty rare to get them that often. So pretty stoked on that, especially keepers. Go buddy, go. Used to see a lot of small ones, babies, but I guess the babies have grown up. Somebody actually let them go.
All right, guys, well, that's just gonna about wrap it up for me today. Another quick video, thankfully. Those fish were pretty fired up. I've actually kind of been fishing around some other brush piles here. I wish I would have made another video because definitely found some bigger ones, but I'm gonna save those for uh, this week's guide trips. But hope you guys enjoyed this one. Just wanted to try and pump something out quick while I had the time because I'm gonna be super busy here coming up. But one thing I will mention is that once we do hit the 20,000 subscriber mark, which will not take long, we are gonna do a, a live stream on the channel here. Gonna give away some stuff too. So if you're watching this video, please make sure you're subscribed. Like the video, share the video, leave a comment down below. Also, please definitely go check out the videos listed down in the description and the ones at the end of the video here. I tried to give as much educational content as I could today, but compared to the other ones that I've been putting out lately, especially as far as like the Garmin update goes, the latest update that came out and just Garmin stuff in general, please go check those videos out. So yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching. Look at these bald eagles right here. Let them send us off. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.